comfort, oh my people. It was only a bad dream, a passing fright. I am here, you will be all right. The child has a terrible nightmare. The demons and dreams are terrifying, untrue. Imagine phantom, hobgoblin in shadows, but the fear is real. And grown-ups have them too. Insurance bill is due, but where is the money? My child, my dear child, seems so sad and won't come out. Something's not right. It hurts, but I don't want to hear bad news. We fight so much. I wish we could talk. I don't know why. Phantoms and horrors, but the fear is real. A terrible nightmare, a child screams in the night, a dad comes, wraps a blanket and holds the child close and whispers, comfort, it's all right, just a bad dream, it's over now, you're okay. That is what God whispers in Isaiah, comfort, oh, take comfort, my people, it is over. Your fear and grief has come to end, you've had enough. You've done enough. Come and rest. It will be all right. The prophet Isaiah speaks God's word to a people suffering. Babylon has won. The nation conquered has been dissolved and its people refugees. The years of war, the slow decline of values and morals and social structures, the infighting and suspicion, polarization and name-calling, foolish disregard to looming threats from without the southern kingdom succumbed to Babylonian invasion. Homes confiscated, businesses destroyed, towns leveled and people displaced, rights revoked, violence prevailed, streets unsafe, days dictated and no future imagined. That was the experience of the conquered people of Judah. The worst has happened, and now they despair. So the prophet whispers, take comfort, my people. Speak tenderly as a parent rocking a child from night terrors. Yet serve your uh, turn. It is enough. Your penalty from turning from God, for chasing your own choices of trust, for cheating your friends and ignoring your neighbors, for turning from God, your penalty is paid. It is over. The ancient Babylonians were a magnificent empire. The hanging gardens of Babylon are legendary and number among the seven great wonders of the world. Hammurabi introduced his famous code that delineated fair judgments and regulated commerce. Nebuchadnezzar expanded the empire, secured its borders, and reestablished its religious cults. Babylon Babylonians had many gods and shrines and cultic celebrations. Each cultic celebration involved elaborate parades along decorated roads so rocks would be cleared and, and roadways straightened and running from countryside into the city of Babylon to the sculptic shrine. And at the celebration, a huge entourage would, would parade in from the country along the festive road up to the god's shrine with music and singing and dancing to emulate the faithful flocking to the god of the shrine. And then Isaiah cries out, in the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, every mountain hill be made low. The uneven ground shall become level, the rough places plain. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. But the road runs the other way. Make straight the highway for our God. Level out the valleys and ridges and smooth the path and make it glorious to our God, the saves. Make it a road back to Jerusalem. From exile in Babylon back to life again in Jerusalem. 
from loss and despair back to the way we live under God. The one thing that gives life and happiness and future is God who loves, is merciful and welcomes. The voice says, cry out, all flesh is grass. There's an anonymous poem, short poem that suggests the humor of this verse, and I'll take a brief digression here. Um, cry out, all flesh is grass. Well, a horse bit his master. How came this to pass? He heard the good pastor cry, all flesh is grass. But what is actually meant is that the vain strivings and achievements and accomplishments and patriotisms and glories and greatness pass on and all fade. We make much of ourselves. We make much of heroes and stars and people in power. But the prophet Isaiah injects some gentle humor about this. Surely the people are grass and our proud inventions pass. The grapes who capture our imaginations now will pass as grass withering as seasons pass. But the word of our God will stand forever. And what is that word? Comfort. Oh, comfort my people. I am here. I am your God. It will be all right. As I mentioned in the announcements, Jerry Larson has died and his family mourns. And Bruce and Lil are facing their last days. Good people leave us and we feel their absence deep in our hearts. Comfort, comfort, oh my people. Our nation is splintered and upset and self replaces service. The dream eludes and anger festers, disappointments divide, and frustration lashes comfort. Comfort, oh my people. Home means belonging, but the roof needs replacing and the faucet drips. It keeps upkeep is harder, clutter grows, it's too much to handle, but it holds memories and is anchored in place, but how much longer can I keep this house? Comfort, oh comfort my people. A daughter struggles so beautiful and good, but who knows the worries within? Despair hides behind shy smiles. Desperation drives self-harm. Comfort, oh, comfort my people. The son's friends turn mean and won't speak. Left alone, already doubting, he cries silently. Comfort, oh, comfort my people. Look, the Lord comes with might and his arm rules. The Lord comes in force, no nonsense, all intent. Lift up your voice, O Jerusalem, herald of good tidings. Lift it up, do not fear. The Lord comes with might and purpose, with arms of power and muscles of strength and fierce resolve. The Lord gathers the lambs, bones and biceps of protective love and circle. And God hears, and God holds, and God has. Nothing shall harm, and nothing shall take. Whatever may come, and whatever may happen, and whatever shall threaten, know that God holds you fast, that God comes, and God hears, 